Good morning, my art-loving friends. It is Sunday, July 9th, and you guys know what time it is. It is time to see what's in the next envelope for Denise Soden's 31 Days of Watercolor Advent Calendar. We have day nine right here, and it's very exciting. All right, there's a dot card in this one. I can feel it. I'm so excited. The stickers, the prints, the dot cards have all been so much fun. Okay. In we go. I was hoping it would be green. <laughs> because, of course, the prompt today is vegetation. This is Da Vinci's Denise's Green, which is one of my absolute favorite greens. I adore it. <laughs> and can you guys see how generous this dot sample is? Holy moly. That is a very generous dot card. Probably the most generous one yet, and they've all been generous. It says, while yesterday's theme may have been difficult to match, this one was not. Denise's green was created to be a natural green suitable for a wide array of vegetation. Plants and landscapes are perfect for today's World Watercolor Month prompt. But if those things don't inspire you, I also love this color for guinea turacos, sea turtles, and toads. So I asked my husband what I should paint for vegetation today. That's the prompt. And he said a garden. And I thought, you know, that's a really good idea. I'm gonna change it just a little bit to a flower garden. And I wanna try something new with the flowers. So this could be a total flop, but it might work. I think we have enough time to paint. We have to leave. One of Riley's coworkers over at Extreme 4x4 uh, was in a horrible accident and she died. It's very, very sad. Ugh, it's been affecting me all week. But anyway, we're gonna go down to Moab today and do a trail ride in her honor with the crew there. Riley actually left yesterday, so we'll see how much time I have today, but painting will feel nice and maybe I'll paint that in honor of her too because a flower garden, what could be more perfect, right? All right, let's paint. All right, in case you want to see Denise's green, if you're new here, welcome, and you haven't seen this color, I should show it to you, right? Definitely. It's pretty magnificent. <laughs> Look at that. Just beautiful. All right, there's Denise's green. Now I looked up references for a flower garden. Didn't really find anything that interested me. So we're just gonna, wait, well, I found a lot that interested me. I just didn't find what I was looking for. So we're going to make it up again, which is really scary. I have my Da Vinci palette out because I like to use the same watercolors that we get in the dot card. So this will be the fourth Da Vinci paint we've received in the calendar so far. We received this yellow, which is Hansa Yellow Deep, that one, which was Da Vinci Violet, and this one, which is Quinacridone Red, PR209, and now Denise's Green, which I have in this palette. Oh, I'm like, something's wrong. My palette's not in the order. It's because I had it swapped. This one right here is Denise's Green. So I do have it in a half pan, but I'll add that on top of it, although this is huge. I may have to use some off of it first. I'm going to use my Bao Hong 100% cotton sketchbook as usual for this month anyway, because it is awesome. Wish me luck in this adventure. So I turned the camera on, but forgot to hit record. Noticed it when the camera shut off. <laughs> Darn it all. But my new method that I'm trying here is I wet the entire paper very thoroughly, and then I'm getting a nice load of paint in the paintbrush and just dropping it on and letting the paint bleed, and that's going to be my flowers. And it's very exciting and fun. So I'm using a huge variety of colors here. Every, almost every red. Actually, that's probably not so. I think I only used two of my reds because I actually have four or five reds. But I used both yellows, my only orange, two of the reds. I forgot to use Joyce's Mother's Violet because it, I haven't incorporated it into this palette yet. It was just sitting on the lid and I even paused once. I'm like, I have to use that color and I forgot. So because I'm kind of in a hurry editing this video to get it up for you guys before I need to leave, I am going to go ahead and speed up the rest of this process, but it's so fun. Just wet your paper, drop a heavy load of paint into it and watch it go. 
And before I speed it up, I do have one more thing to tell you. I did start my steampunk piece for yesterday's. I started it last night and I put my progress up on my Instagram, which is at Alkali Creek Art. And I won't be able to finish that today, obviously, but I have a couple of things that I need to finish that we've started here in World Watercolor Month. So hopefully we'll dedicate some time to that here this week. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> All right, here's the sped up process. So I used both mauve and my Da Vinci Violet. The Da Vinci Violet spreads really nicely. I don't remember all the colors here, sorry, because I already put the palette away and don't, I'm not gonna get it out to look at this <laughs> swatch sheet for you, but this is a cerulean blue, I'm almost sure. Just trying to get a good variety of colors and make this beautiful, bright flower garden. I hope that Lacey would appreciate this. This That's the name of the co-worker of Riley's that died and our kind of our friend, acquaintance friend. Riley was definitely much closer to her than we were, but anyway, she always had a garden. She had honeybees and yeah, hopefully she would appreciate this. I, I think she would. All sadness put on the back burner for the moment. This is a really fun way to paint <laughs> and I want you guys to try it if you haven't. Just dabbing color in and using all the bright beautiful colors is freeing, it's fun. Yeah, I I highly recommend it. I actually kind of want to try this with that Viviva cork palette that I have because those colors are bright and fun too. I kind of want to try it with every single palette I have. I may just have to do that someday. I gave it about 10 minutes to dry in the sunshine over in the window, but ironic, I mean, you can tell that it's still not fully dry because it's all warped and definitely, well, not that cool to the touch. I want to put a light layer of water over the whole thing and use the Denise's Green that we had in the box today. So I'm being really gentle with the brush because I don't want to pull up the paint that I already have on it. That's always the challenge, right? I want to get it wet without reactivating it fully. <laughs> and then I'll drop in the Denise's Green here and there. It's kind of tricky to do this. I have a couple dry spots. It's a little hard to tell. Gotta get all different angles with my head here. <laughs> okay. This isn't a new method of painting in general. It's just a method that I haven't really tried with painting flowers. I don't often paint flowers, so when I said new method in the title, that's just a new method for me, obviously. All right, I wanna get Denise's Green in there in a really concentrated way, I think. And I didn't know like if I wanted sprigs or dots or what. So this will be this will be kind of fun, but it's a nice deep green color, so I thought it would be some much needed contrast. And where I dropped the yellow in that purple was still dry enough it did turn a bit brown in there, which is typical, but not what I was hoping for, but should have known it was too wet. And this was one of the most fun parts, adding that deep, gorgeous, beautiful green all throughout the piece. And that one spread a little too much, but it ended up looking really neat, more like a bush over on that side. And then I went ahead and put green in all the corners to kind of frame it, at least that was the idea. And I think that worked okay too. So I had fun with this part. All right, I think that's pretty good. It's very pretty. It makes me happy to look at it. It's so fun when you make a painting and it makes you happy when you look at it. <laughs> Both of these make me so happy. <laughs> I love them. They're colorful, beautiful, and I just love them. So that Denise's green is pretty stunning, isn't it? It's just beautiful. I'll show you again. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. All right, it's only 9.40 in the morning, so I think we have to leave in a couple hours. Hopefully that leaves me enough time to edit this video and get it up for you. Hopefully I'll see you online in a couple of hours, <laughs> or talk to you online in the comments in a couple of hours. That's a wrap for today. I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. I should be home by 10 in the morning. Okay, take care, bye for now. Also, my husband cut my hair, what do you think? You think he did a good job? I think he did a good job. I actually can't tell, because it's curly, which is good, probably, because he was terrified. <laughs> also, I'm wearing very red lipstick, because it matches my shirt. <laughs>